Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Persona 5 Royal. We need to go and hang out with Kasumi today. So, that's probably what we're going to be doing here. One thing that I do want to check is if there are any new books. I don't think I've checked since... Oh, I want a Central Street. That's okay though. Um, I haven't checked in... You know, we haven't seen Sun very often. Just keep we need to keep an eye out for Sun. We need to rank him up. I feel like uh, whenever we see uh, Yoshida, we need to hang out with him because he seems to show up pretty rarely now. Is that just me or...? Please, take your time. Ah, nothing new. Take a look around. Yeah, man, we've like done everything. Okay. Let's see if anything else shows up on our map here. Alright. Coming for you, girl. Hello. Hi, Senpai. It's really sunny today, so be sure to stay hydrated. I'm thinking of doing a different kind of training than usual. What do you think? Do you have time to try it out right now? I feel like I, I can become closer with Kasumi, thanks to Phoenix. Let's do it. Oh, Senpai, you really are ready? <laughs> We're going to the batting cages. I hope you're excited. Oh, no! I'm so bad at this minigame. Do I actually have to play it? Because I'm, I'm awful. Um... Probably didn't expect to be meeting to be meeting me at the batting center, huh? <laughs> it's a surprise, yeah. I thought so, but I'm glad you decided to humor me. Uh, batting helps train your reflexes and dynamic vision. It also strengthens your stance. And really, those are important elements in, in gymnastics, too. It all sounds pretty plausible, right? Actually, I just wanted to come here. Honestly, I wanted you to see me hit a home run. Oh, girl. <laughs> this seems kind of su- Not that kind of home run, although... You know what? Why not? <laughs> Jeez. Um. I remembered something from when I was little. My father used to take me to the batting cages a lot. The other kids were scared of getting hit by the baseballs, but I just love swinging the bat around. Every time I hit one, I kept thinking it doesn't matter how fast they are. I'll slam them into orbit. I thought if I tried to put myself back in that headspace, I could get some ideas on how to get my boldness back. What do you think? That could work, right? It's a good idea. Why not? Yes. Right? I think it'll really help. My turn. Next up to the plate, Kasumi Yoshizawa. Here I go. Dude, that look of determination. Look at that look. Look at that. Oh, she's gonna rock it. All right, is she gonna rock it, or is this gonna be terrible? Now, come on. <laughs> Are they always this fast? I'll get the next one. It's the next one that counts. Okay, no more warm-ups. From now on, it's gonna be 100% home runs. What the? I'm sorry. I knew I was rusty, but I didn't expect to miss all of them. Uh, it's alright, girl. Me too. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this game myself. You never see the ball coming. Oh, can't read it. I never see the ball coming, and I keep flinching. I don't think my slump was hitting me. This I didn't think my slump was hitting this hard. Why am I having such a hard time reading and speaking today? Alright, come on, Ben. There we go. Okay. Hey, don't give up yet, girl. You got this. Senpai, you're right. I'll give it one more shot. All right, let's get that look of determination again, huh? Oh, uh, that's not a look of determination. Stay calm. Don't be scared. Eyes on the ball. My turn. There it is. Here I go. Come on. What? Oh, she got it. I did it. We did it! I did it, Senpai! I hit the ball! Congratulations! 
I never have done it without your encouragement, Senpai. Up until now, I have only been working for myself. I was so desperate to make a good impression. But since I started hanging out with you, Vernak Senpai, I started feeling like I wanted to live up to your expectations. And that feeling's helped me feel so much stronger. I had forgotten how it felt to work that hard on someone else's behalf. Don't you forget how that feels. Keep that yes. with you, girl. Right, of course. Ever since I met you, Senpai, I've been discovering so many things about myself. But now I feel like I'm closer than ever to getting my confidence back. Please, oh, listen to me! I, I've been feeling a lot more limber and energized lately, too. I'm not totally back to normal yet, but even my grades have been going back up. Nicely done. Thank you very much! Yeah, I still need to show you what I can do. Next time, you won't have to watch me fumbling with a bat. I'll show you an all-new, full-power gymnastics routine. That would be cool. <laughs> I can sense Kasumi's intense trust in me. I want to see her do a gymnastics thou. routine. Thou art I. Whoa. Thou hast birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. This union, born and embraced by will unyielding, shall become the balefire that lights thy path. Dude. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss. Oh, dang. Okay, it says max. I wonder if later in the game more unlocks, but this is probably one of the requirements for true ending, is getting this to rank 5, so... Uh, well, right. I know that there was... Yeah, it's, it's in my notes right here. Rank 5. By December 22nd. We definitely got it before December 22nd, didn't we? Oh, that kind of makes me sad that I don't get to see more for a while. I'm assuming that she'll become more a part of the story, obviously, since she's a large focus of the latter half of the game, but... Whew! Anyway, we've still got a lot to hit. I think it's your turn, Senpai. Give it all the guts you've got. Smash it into outer space. I sweated it out in a batting session with Kasumi. Oh, sorry. I need to get going. Good effort! Thank you very much for today. Okay. Nice. Oh, Vernak Senpai, thank you so much for coming with me today. I haven't swung a bat in a while. My arms still feel kind of weird. I was kind of hoping to knock it out with a clang, but I'm just happy I managed to hit the ball. It's nice to dip into sports aside from gymnastics. Was there anything else you wanted to try, Senpai? Gymnastics. Teach me, Sensei. Wait, really? I'm so happy that you're interested in gymnastics. Men's rhythmic gymnastics actually originated in Japan. You need a ton of power and speed to compete in those. But I'd say you have the potential to do well in it. I'd love to see you try some acrobatic moves. Um, I have a request for you, Vernak Senpai. May I ask you to join me for more things from now on? When I'm with you, I just feel so much more capable. Whether you want to go train again or just hang out and chat, please reach out whenever. Okay, I'll let you go. She's a doll. Okay. So what's going on? I haven't heard of any development. Medjid hasn't taken any action either. I heard some company's private data got leaked or something. Did Medjid do that? Are the Phantom Thieves sitting on their hands? Do something. Man, it's hot. Another scorcher. Can we catch a break? Hey, I heard some company's info got leaked. Yes, it seems the private dealings for a large corporation were publicly disclosed. It's caused quite the stir. People are wondering if Medjed is behind it. Do you think it was Medjed? I would think not. It seems to be just a minor thing, quite different from what Medjed has done up until now. Is that so? So it was a Medjed? Damn, that shit freaked me out. It's honestly kind of hard not having a knee-jerk reaction to this stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Okay. 
Okay, E Y and hey, Sunny. So yeah, I suppose we'll uh, do Yoshida then. I'll just add this. Man, we put in 64 hours. That's wild. All right, Sun is one of the ones that we don't need to have affinity in. What do you think about the administration? I think they're wrong. That's what I plan to discuss in my speech today. I'd like you to hear it. I want your honest opinion. Let's go. I appreciate it. Let's meet at the square at Shibuya Station. Okay. Everyone! The conviction of a government is often tested during times of turmoil. However, the current administration refuses to discuss their plans for the future. Can we really accept such an utter lack of transparency? I've been hearing this type of criticism about the government a lot lately. That's because Diet Member Shido has been gaining popularity by saying the same thing. So, he's just echoing another politician's criticism of the government? Apparently. Shh, whatever. Aw. What if this Shido character took it from him, huh? So, first you stole party funds, and now you're stealing ideas, no good, Tora. Stop talking all big, you ex-convict. Hmm. It seems I've drawn the ire of the audience once again. So he's claiming those who have made mistakes in the past shouldn't get a second chance? What can I say to that? Who am I talking to here? What was that? You got something to say to me, kid? Yep. What's up with this kid? Listen to what he has to say. Why, you little punk. Yes, I am no good Tora, and I have made mistakes. Yes, I am unpopular and powerless, but that has nothing to do with my arguments. These are things I learned from all my hardships. Yes. You can ridicule me all you want, but I will continue to oppose what is wrong with this world. <sighs> Today's speech ended up being filled with a lot of passion. Quite unexpectedly, I might add. The highlight, though, was your yelling. Just spoke the truth. That's very promising. But don't overdo it. You should avoid making enemies whenever possible. Okay, that is all for today. You two are amazing. I've been wrong this whole time. Even though someone has failed in the past, it doesn't mean that person can't try again. Oh man, if only the real world allowed people to actually change. Yoshida's detractor, that type of person, doesn't exist. Everybody just sticks to their guns, whether they're right or wrong or anything in between. Even though someone has failed in the past, doesn't mean that person can't try again. That, that's all I wanted to say. You. Please wait. Thank you. That is all I wanted to say. You're a strange one, just like that kid. Why do you think we forcibly have to change people's hearts? It's because people are shitty. <laughs> I learned something from your dauntless spirit today. I have a bad habit of getting flustered whenever someone calls me no good Torah. But you see me as someone of value, so I refuse to cower to criticism in front of you. <laughs> today you taught me that I must have more confidence in my arguments. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Right. foreign son. My way of thinking changes when I'm with you. Perhaps it's the influence of your youthful spirit. Ah, my apologies. It seems we're out of time. Okay. Earn some charm. Oh yeah, we need charm for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like rank four is never going to come. I shall ask you again another Good work time. work today. I'll see you again soon. Hello, oh, thanks for all your hard work today. Thanks to you, I've remembered something very important. Now that I think about it, ever since the scandal, I've felt alone and helpless, like the whole world was against me. Perhaps I got too used to the constant judging and critique, but I realized I'd overlooked something crucial. I'd forgotten the people who support me, and how encouraging it feels simply to be in their presence. Perhaps it seems too obvious or too trite, but I hope you remember to cherish that too. You can't forget your roots. <laughs> exactly. Sounds like you've already learned that lesson. 
I will engrave it into my heart. I can't let myself forget it again. Well, I'll be counting on you for my next speech, too. See you soon, Renat Kuhn. Happy at this hour. I'll be intruding on you tomorrow. Your house manages to be cool despite this heat. There's a book I want to read, and should something happen, I would be ready in case we must assemble. If it works with your schedule, we could hang out. Don't worry if you already have plans. I'll be stopping by either way. Until then, good day. Yusuke's coming here tomorrow, huh? He's definitely making the most of his summer vacation. I'm going to bed. Yusuke again, huh? It can be other people, by the way. Um, but Yusuke's already ready to rank up, so we will not be hanging out with him. Hey. One of your friends is here to visit. Sounds like Yusuke's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Focus. Okay. Just gotta check our plant. <laughs> so yeah, we could hang out with Yusuke, get affinity points with him. Mm -hmm. I think you can, like, play video games and study and things like that, depending on who it is. Um, let's check our stats real quick. Hey! Okay, let's reflect. Getting somewhat close to knowledge. Oh wow, that'll be uh, max knowledge. I'm definitely close to improving my charm. Oh good, that means we're real close. Somewhat close to proficiency, and somewhat close to guts. And no idea on kindness. Ooh, kindness is the one that's really falling behind right now. I think that one... I think kindness and charm are both rank 3. Everything else mm -hmm. is rank 4. See you later. Sorry, Yusuke. Okay. Okay, we got Makoto. Looks like it's it. Alright, so we can either work on Charm, or we can hang out with Makoto. Let's hang out with Makoto. I'll just add this. Um, what is her confidant? Empress? Priestess, not Empress. I don't think I have a Priestess right now. I do not. What day is it? Monday. Oh, yesterday we were supposed to go get our juice. I didn't get my juice. What was I thinking? I was not paying attention. That's my bad. Okay. It's these summer days, man. They throw you off. Um, what was I just about to go and do? Oh yeah, I need to go and get a priestess. Um, why do I keep passing it? Because I'm a fool. Hey, inmate! Alright, just so everybody knows, I accidentally turned off my microphone for a little bit. So this is actually post commentary. How fares your pr time? For you wish to perform an exit. What path do you want? So I think here I was just checking if I could fuse what I needed to uh, hang out with Makoto. But Kikari Hime is too high of a level, so I decided to save my money by just buying one. Now choose. Now choose! So right now I'm just trying to fuse some Persona so that I can make some room to buy the Persona that I need. So I'm just checking out my options. Looks pretty tough. Once again, that one would just cost I too see. much. Great I think I'm checking it possible. right now, and it ends Do up being like 30,000, 40,000. Yeah. yeah, so expensive. 
So I definitely don't go with that one. What path do you want? You okay with this? Not terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. You okay with this? So Thunderbird, who I'm looking at here, is actually a new persona, as far as I'm aware. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Thunderbird was not in the original Persona 5, so this one's actually a new one, and he is the one that I'm going to go with. So Suiki and Phoenix here are the ones that I'm looking at fusing, and I decided to go with that one because, well, I just maxed out Faith at rank 5, so okay I don't need the Faith persona anymore. So since Suiki and uh, the uh, Phoenix are both a little bit lower levels, it made sense to uh, do this fusion. And it makes room, so this is what Select I ultimately the end up with. You'd like to inherit. It will receive, then let us begin. It's time for me to finally get Finished, the uh, priestess like persona the that we came here for. Read In here. this case, it's just always the best idea to just go with whatever's cheapest. Um, the only reason why you might not want to do that is if you know of a, uh, of a higher level fusion that maybe somebody in the Priestess Arcana would be useful with. Like, I could go with is Isis there at level 26, and at level 26 it may Done make already. better fusions, possibly. What? Although there are some times where you can use a low level and a higher level, and still make a really good persona, so. And let's go see our girl Makoto. Just chilling in the rain. Uh, well. All we can do now is wait. If you have time, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Alright. Uh, well. It feels like I just don't know anything anymore. Um, let's talk more in the student council room. We can get in through the back entrance. It's summer break, so, uh, we're just sneaking into the school. <sighs> so my class had a practice entrance exam, and my score was significantly lower than the last time. I'm concerned. That's kind of unlike you. I couldn't agree more. The truth is, recently I've started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Aiko? Hmm? You don't remember? Aiko Takeo. We asked her about the job she has at the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Aiko, her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently her parents can use their connections to find her a job. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. I mean, don't you have goals? I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law, just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But... But 
Everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I've realized now there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I wouldn't have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. <laughs> she must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Aiko's been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. That reminds me, she asked me the other day, well, what hand cream I use. I sent her a picture and it's apparently the same brand they use in the nurse's office at school. <laughs> well, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> Uh, not so sure about that. She told me I'm like a middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. Oh, that's not true at all. <laughs> Regardless, that stuff works wonders for dry skin, and it's great value, too. Actually... My father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. That reminds me... When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous. I had completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. Well, I mean... Do you still want to pursue it? I hover over, I like a woman in uniform, because of course I did. <laughs> so do you still want to pursue it? Hmm. I don't know, I mean, I only barely remembered it just now. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves, what am I supposed to do, arrest myself? Right? <laughs> hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goals for the future are, outside of just plain studying. Thank you very you know, much. It feels like I remembered something important today, thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. I can sense a quiet resolve from Makoto. Boom, Priestess rank 4. With the new ability follow-up, chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Alright. Pretty damn useful. I always love getting those. When I met Aiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just learned recently that a chemise is now called a camisole, and a button-down sweater is a cardigan. I know, right? And what about colors, too? Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? What the hell is fuchsia, anyway? Right? Am I right? I guess in the end, I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So, please help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. See you later. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey! They got some city armor. How about you wash that over at the laundromat? Actually, I did. Fairly recently. So yeah, we definitely don't need to do that, but here I remembered that because I did that, I needed to check out the armor. And look at this Royal Holy Shroud. This thing is awesome. What a upgrade. 171 with a plus 30 in SP. We got two of those. So right now I'm just deciding, am I going to give it to Ryuji or Yusuke? I think I land on Ryuji. Yep, there it is. We're starting to get pretty close to where I uh, figured out that I had my mic muted. Yeah, it's right before we uh, talk to Hifumi here. Right now I'm trying to decide what to do. I end up deciding to go and spend some time with Hifumi. Oh, I was just checking to make sure I had a star. Neko Shogun fits the bill, so we are good to go. Good evening. It's even hotter this summer. Do you remember our promise? You, be you became my partner so that I can research new moves? 
In order to do so, I would like you to start off by learning the basics of Shogi. Would you like to play a match? You bet I would. Let's do it. I look forward to it. Me too. I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll start. Whoops, my apologies. I've been muted for like 10 minutes, I think. About 8 minutes. Um, I may dub in some of the uh, talk from that stuff. Um, we'll see. If I've been reading out the dialogue, that means I dubbed it in. Sorry about that, guys. Vanguard of my... Vanguard of my Togo Kingdom. Go forth to the front lines. Trample upon them all. You think to protect yourself with that paltry defense? Ha! <laughs> Useless. Awaken dragon, let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark Inferno Rook. She got tense. Can you hear them? The wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield? With an incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Time for you to suffer. At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my full power. Check. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring your end. Ultimate Excalibur attack. Check. I think she wrecked us. <sighs> I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I, um, I tend to get very aggressive. It's as if I assume the role of a queen of a kingdom. That's interesting. It, it is? You're a strange one indeed. My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my, um, subjects. However, I've heard that people make fun of me on the internet. People think I'm weird, or that I'm an otaku, or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird, too. Ah, don't worry about them. Yes. Your positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn from our matches, more from our matches than I thought. I can sense a deep bond of trust from the food. Rank two and star. All right. All right. Yeah, we gotta get working on this one. She has some good perks. That will do for today. Oh. There's something I wanted to mention. Do you read weekly magazines? Um. Well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. But you probably don't want to, do you? You're quite perceptive. Yeah, you seem pretty shy unless you're playing Shogi. I thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end here for today. Yeah, she does not want the fame. Until next time. Goodbye. At this rate, they're gonna end up attacking us. I heard stocks are down, is that because of Medjed? I really wish they wouldn't do this. I heard some other company's private data got leaked. What are the Phantom Thieves doing? Way too hot! Man, this is crazy. I can't keep up with this constant influx of posts. Isn't it tough being popular, Avalanche? Anyway, here's the latest lead I have. This this one seems to be about something abusing their power. I wonder if it has written if it was written by a former employee of the company in question. Apparently one of the higher ups has been claiming the achievements of his subordinates as his own. That really sucks. That's some business sense. You can't seriously seriously just be accepting that. Now, I know the name of the company, but I don't have any details on the person himself. The company's over in Shinjuku, so try asking around places where businessmen could hang out. Okay, so... I know the name of the company. We don't have the person. The company's over in Shinjuku. Try asking around. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to find this one. The bar at night might be a start. That should be a good place to get more info on this situation. All right, Mama, I'm coming to see ya. I hope this isn't asking too much of you. Sorry, I'll look for another one just in case. Ooh, do we have to work it uh, at the bar in order to figure this one out? Sometimes you have to work at certain places to uh, get the information you need. Ah, Lakota wants to hang out again. Okay. On Ryuji. Ooh, Makoto's not ready now. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a quick note of that. We need some more affinity with uh, Makoto here. All right. So maybe billiards will be happening soon then. Because I think that gives you an affinity point with everybody in your party. Because they all come to hang out. Okay, anything else? Nothing up here? Alright, let's jump up to Shinjuku real quick. Oh, it's because it's a heat wave. During heat waves, uh, all the sodas are sold out. something you need to do at this crossroads place? Looks like it's closed now. Okay, we have to come here at night. Okay, we can do that. Okay, do I want to work on charm or do I want to hang out with Ryuji? If I have a chariot, which I don't, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's maybe work on charm today at the convenience store. should only do these on the 7th or 17th. Whoa, Kasumi, what's up, girl? Senpai! Whoa, analog senpai. I had no idea you work here. And that pink uniform, it actually looks great on you. I'm surprised. I can make anything look good, girl. Oh, I'm sorry for troubling you. I'll see you at the cashier in a bit. Um. Convenience stores have been lifesavers for when I get hungry in the middle of training. I can't help wanting to buy protein chocolate bars or those jelly drinks. Oh, I'm sorry to chat in the middle of your work. Please keep it up. Hey! Good work out there. You got to learn how to be considerate, uh, how to be considerate of others through dealing with customers. Mm -hmm. Did we get it? Got it! Oh my gosh! That rank four has taken so All right. long. We can finish to Kemi back. now. You're almost done, right? Let's get your pay and go home. All right, next chance we get, we're gonna do that because I think that it leads to something that I want to unlock. Ah, you're back. I am. Okay, we got Chihaya and Mishima, huh? Okay, let's talk to people around town here to, uh... I'll just add this. See if we can figure out this person's name. It kind of implies that we're gonna have to maybe work a couple nights at, uh, Crossroads. But let's talk to people out here. Hey, you there, you're no ordinary schmo. Oops, didn't mean to skip that. You're a fan thief, aren't you? They're all the rage now. Find out more after these messages. How did you know? <laughs> So what's your answer? Guess we'll find out after these messages. These messages. Psh, idiot kid ignoring me. Get out of here. As if someone like you could become a fan thief. Huh. Hmm? Funny. I think maybe my computer got hacked. Angel and Julian. How did that happen? Does this have to do with all that news lately? When I'm on the internet, these peculiar screens keep popping up and I get these weird bills. Oh there, did you click some shady links on a porn site? Yeah, you don't want to do that, buddy. Never a good idea. I don't want to do a sexy photo shoot, I just want to sing. 
Look, I get it, I really do. You're a little nervous, sure, but you gotta do this to win people's hearts. You know, I wanted to be a singer, too, so... When you're following your dreams, it reminds me of myself. You did, Mr. Asakura? You were just like me? Well, then I guess I can trust you. No. Don't... Don't, don't trust him. Hmm? Please don't trust him, girl. Please. Leave. Maybe I should change this guy's heart. Let's check the bookstore real quick. What do you want? Yep. Okay. Oh, honey. You're here again, boy? Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? Hey, hey! We have a target we haven't identified yet, right? Maybe you can gather some more info while you're working. Oh, yeah. We still haven't started your confidant ranking. I'm sorry, girl. That's rough. What? Don't you know it's not polite to stare? This sort of thing isn't unusual around here. Come on! Oh, I may not be able to work here until we start this confidant rank. Oh. Hey, where's my glass? Didn't I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is it? Ugh, who cares? Wait, I care. <laughs> She's so drunk that she hasn't even noticed you're here. If we have her write articles, it'll have an effect on the metaverse. We might be able to use her if we do it right. Should we try forming a deal with Oya? Now then. Keep in mind that she's drunk. Now do a good job negotiating, okay? Hey, Lalachan, are you sure this isn't just water? <laughs> if you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Uncalled for, Oya. You respect Mama, oh, damn it. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me. You're drunk. <laughs> no, no, not not that. <laughs> no? Look at that face! Well, then you at least have some news on the Phantom Thieves, oh, yeah? Oh, she's so pissed. Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, Mama does don't be not such approve. A killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important? is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. <laughs> so, what do you want from me this time? Mama's Information great. Information about someone? Cold, hard cash? I'll let you know later. Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared. Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. <laughs> what do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kanashiro, right? Man, this girl flips so fast. Well, he got arrested soon after. So don't think that I can't put two and two together. Something's fishy. I mean, come on. Bad guys are bad. They get caught. So you're being swayed by the Phantom Thieves, huh? I didn't say that. But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy, huh? Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you could take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? You better write something good, you drunk. I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. All right then, it's a deal. 
I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. I've made a deal with Oya. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Oh man, sorry, there are so many distractions today. Um, I had to go and do a Animal Crossing graduation for a friend of mine who had one of these quarantine graduations in 2020, so we jumped onto Animal Crossing and did a little party for her, so... Yep, but I am back, and what are we doing? That's right, we were hanging out with Oya. <laughs> And now we're getting grilled by Sai. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? Inside woman. What do you have to say to that? Alright. What's her arcana, ladies and gents? What's her I arcana? Am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, <laughs> I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead freedom and new power. Oya oh, yeah, the drunk of the devil arcana. Alright, Ichigo Oya, oh, yeah. rank one in devil. So, her new ability, Rumor Field Scoop, decreases the security level when you find a new safe room. Alright, sure. Hers, in the original game, they were, all, all of her abilities were based around security level, and security level is not really anything to worry about in this game at all. So she tends to be one of the least favored confidants, mostly because, well, her abilities aren't very useful. I hear that they have changed in this game, and already this one looks slightly different than what they were in the original game, but I don't think her abilities are going to be very good, even in this one. Maybe a little better than they were in the original, but they were pretty much useless in the original. I think in my first playthrough, I managed to max out every single confidant ranking except for Oya and one other one that we haven't met yet. And I'll, I'll tell you who that is. But I almost got a max confidant ranking my first playthrough of Persona 5, except for her and one other. So yeah. She just was not a priority because her abilities were not very useful. But let's talk about the Devil Arcana. So, it's not nearly as ominous as it may sound. The Devil card is depicted with the Dionysius depiction of the Goat God being watching over two captives. So you can see that in this card already. It represents being seduced by material and physical pleasures as well as living in fear or being caged by an overabundance of luxury. Temptation, unhealthy relationships, fear, materialism, and feeling trapped are all things this card can represent. The reverse card can indicate freedom from restraints and breaking from addictions. Addictions, you say? Like alcoholism? <laughs> all right. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala Chan. Lala Chan. Time to celebrate our agreement. Bring out my bottle and two glasses. I think I've please. been calling her Mama. I'm sorry, Lala. Uh, Yakuza gets in my head sometimes. There is. Um, I mean, I guess this is like a thing in Japan. I guess there are several bars that have cross-dressing women who refer to themselves as Mama and La La, whatever. But yeah. Lalachan. Lalachan is awesome. Oh, come on, please! Whoa, her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. I was able to pique Oya's interest. I feel like my charm has increased. We're gonna need to start working on kindness. You take care now. 
Be careful on your way home. Don't stick around Shinjuku too long after dark, honey. We get a lot of shady types coming out of the woodwork. Hey, Lala-chan! Where'd you go? Hey, Lala-chan, come on. Where are you? I need more drink. Honestly, that lady's going to be the death of me. <laughs> you better head home. If she catches you, you're in for an all-nighter. Oh, dear. Sounds like a good time. Doing what, Lala? Well, at the very least, Ichiko-chan's probably going to drink until sunrise. At the least. <laughs> and since she's in such a good mood, she'll probably make you stick around until she's done. Alright. Well, I'd better get back inside. Come again. You'll always, you'll always be welcome here, but head straight home tonight, okay? Alright, now that we've opened up that confidant, we might be able to talk to Lala again to get that job. Um... <sighs> Also, we'll check the magazines just in case we have to get the job through the magazines, but I don't think that's one of the jobs that you get through the magazines. Who could, who could that be at this hour? Oh, who wants to hang out this time? Yeah, he's not ready either. I would have much preferred... Let's see, who do we need? We need An and Makoto right now. Ryuji's ready. I'm going to be on standby at the hideout. I'll bring over a DVD that's perfect for this stinking hot summer. We can watch it in your room, yeah? Oh, don't worry about me if you got stuff to do. I can keep by myself. That settles it. See you tomorrow. Mm. Were you just coming over tomorrow, huh? It's going to be noisy all day. Rude. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> do you hear those cries of joy? I'm talking about the sudden burst of posts we just got on the fan site. It must be because of how popular the Phantom Thieves are. Good for them. <laughs> right? Wait. Why are you talking about it like you're not involved? <laughs> anyway, let me tell you about the most interesting thing I've found so far. Indiscriminate acts of violence in Shibuya. Pretty scary, huh? I can't find much more than that, though. All of the posts mention rumors they heard in the underground mall in Shibuya, but nothing else. It's not super reliable. It would be good if we could find out more about those rumors, but my presence is limited to the web. You might want to try and learn more on your own if you're interested. Okay, who's been assaulting people? I think this is another jobs okay. one. Hey, Analog. One of your friends is here to visit. Sounds like Ryuji's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. I can feel it. Okay. Torrential rain. Okay, Yusuke. Seems like it's just Yusuke today in, in regards to uh, confidants. All right, so we've got some things we need to do. Um, let's start by going to the underground mall and seeing if we can uh, get a little bit of research done. This one, I have a feeling I remember what we have to do for this one. We still have a target we haven't identified, right? I did hear some rumors at the underground mall, so if you're gonna gather info during your part-time job, you should try doing it at the flower shop. Yep. Yep. So I think that is what we're gonna do. And you know what? Oh no, it's raining. We can't get a reading today. I was gonna say, I was gonna go and get a fortune reading for stats and get an extra point of kindness from doing this, but on rainy days, she does not show up um, in, uh, in Shinjuku. Alright, let's something. go ahead and save. Now, I think we have to work here multiple days, so... What do you want to do? And then we'll get the information after we've worked here a couple of different days or nights. Let's do it. Nice to meet you. I'm Megumi Hanasaki, the owner of the shop. I'll do everything myself today, so you can just observe me and try to learn the ropes. Good luck! Well, let's begin. Apron suits you. Thanks. Here. Well, here's your pay for today. I think it's three times, so I think we have to do it two more, great. and then we'll get the information that we need. Be careful on your way home, okay? And hey, we need kindness, so. Hmm. Want to head back?
rain. Just huh? a few degrees cooler would do it. Oh man, so many people I want to do things with. All right, Hifumi, EY, Kawakami's not ready, unfortunately. Still raining, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's do Hifumi. Oh? Hifumi's talking to someone. She seems kind of troubled. I feel like I can become closer because of Neko. Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Um, persistent male fan, you go ahead and wash that hand, you gross ass son of a bitch. Huh? Um, please wash it, right? <laughs> I can't believe that you're really here, in a church. I read on the internet that you pray to God for victory, is that true? Uh, no. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Men like that approach me all the time. At first I thought you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me. Yeah, she doesn't want the attention, man. Considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. And he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Sounds like a good guy. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. That's quite the headline. It certainly is. She's blushing. She's so embarrassed. It's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with the title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. Yeah, we've all met moms like that, haven't we? So I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. Uh, having a difficult time? A bit. But it's fine, because it's for my mother. Sorry. I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I, I apologize. You're such a good listener, I feel at ease speaking with you. Actually... Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. I feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. Okay, rank three, new ability, Uchikomi. Chance for a follow-up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy. All right. Cool. That's useful. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. I look forward to it. Are you ready? I feel like playing Shogi with Hifumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. Until next time. I look forward to our next match. Ah, this is Hifumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. But this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? Um... Hey, you know what? Bring it on. Oh, are, are you sure? You really are a strange individual, but thank you for your in the encouragement. If that is the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lessons. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. 
Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Okay. How could that be at this hour? Makoto Oran. Ugh. Yusuke, this is the third time. Let somebody else come by. <laughs> I actually think it might only be the, the bros who come and hang out at your place. Because they come and hang out in your room with you. And that's not normally... Ah, there we go. There's our girl. We can finally do this. I want to see your face. There is actually something I think I should tell you, but I can't make up my mind. Sorry, never mind. Forget what I said. All right. <laughs> now I'm extra proud of today's curry. You better savor it. Thanks, Pops. Hey, hey! And I have to say, that curry the Chief is so proud of smells absolutely delicious. This one's a bit difficult. Man, there's so many right now. There have been some strange happenings in the back alley off Shibuya Central Street. Apparently people have been finding dead or hurt cats back there frequently. It happens so often people are starting to think someone might be abusing them. That's unforgivable. Yeah, only the scum of the earth would take their aggression out on weak innocent animals. Anyway, there's only so much info I've been able to get from the forum. If you're worried about this, I think you'll need to go investigate it yourself. Maybe some of the employees down on Central Street would know more details about it? Why do they put all of these in the same portion of the game? Hey. So that one I think you have to work at the convenience store in order to unlock that one. So we've got Lala-chan, the convenience store, and the flower shop all within the last three days. <laughs> Analog, one of your friends is here to visit. Okay, well, we need to end this episode here, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.